So what I wanted to do for this uh, little presentation is I just, I want us all to pretend we are Globe supporters here, but uh, honest Globe supporters. I mean, let's not pretend we're the, the dishonest Wolfies, the, the dishonest Simon Dans, the Bob your science guy. And instead, let's say that we're all true and honest Globe supporters here as an intellectual exercise. Mm -hmm. But as a as genuine Globe supporters, we need to address the fact that Flat Earthers have made a whole bunch of amazing scientific and historical discoveries. And um, for instance, in this uh, BMLS B69 has been going out there and doing these, uh, you know, the so-called black swan. He, he did these, these videos showing that the horizon is much further than is possible under the globe. So we globe earthers have, have had it wrong for thousands of years that there is no geometric horizon. And the flat earthers were able to discover that this horizon now appears to be a, an apparent horizon that can appear anywhere. Um, and so... <clears throat> anyway, I just thought that was an amazing discovery for, for by the Flat Earthers that they were able to do this. Uh, uh, one of the other discoveries that the Flat Earthers made is that the horizon does actually rise up with the observer as they as they gain elevation. Uh, another thing that we, you know, we Globe Earthers thought that was impossible. Um, we also, um, one of the things the Flat Earthers discovered was that nature has no other purpose than it seems to trick us to that we live on a ball. I mean, we absolutely, without question, see too far. So, so for whatever reason, nature automatically creates this false illusion that the Earth is flat, and uh, the the Earth has some unknown magical like refractional properties that enable us to see forever on this flat Earth. And uh, again, this new this new refractional properties that the flat earthers discovered. I mean, we should be celebrating flat earthers for this new amazing discovery. Um, another one I wanted to talk about this discovery of flat earthers is that hair in space strangely does not appear to flow like it does in normal zero zero g gravity. It's static. It's still it looks like you know the bride <laughs> of. of of Frankenstein. So again, the flat earthers discover something amazing. I mean, I don't know what's, what, what, how much it's going to help science, but at least for your hairdressers, uh, zero uh, space somehow makes your hair look like you know bright of Frankenstein. I think that's in another amazing discovery from 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 the flat earthers. Um, another interesting thing about you know flat what the flat earthers discovered is that. We really don't need to test complex machinery anymore. You know, like the International Space Station, for example. They never actually put the whole thing together, you know, run it through engineering tests or anything like that, pressure tests. None of that actually had to happen. They just had to, you know, create separate pieces and then put them in, put them up in space. We don't, you know, you know, engineers need to understand this, that we don't need to actually go out and test things anymore. Uh, we just need to, you know have nasa put its stamp on it and it, we know for a fact it'll work every time and there'll never be problem with it so another amazing discovery for the flat earthers uh, a few of the other things that flat earthers have discovered is is that for example um is that everything seems to wrap around the curvature you know like radar uh oh uh, radar wraps around the curvature sonar wraps around the curvature uh humpback whales can communicate around the curvature I mean, who, who knew that until the Flat Earthers came around and told us that, wow, humpback whales can communicate 4,000 miles around the curvature. I mean, thank heavens for Flat Earthers. Who would have thought, you know, like the Loran system, that the, the navigational systems like that, that they can operate without curvature? I mean, I never knew that until the Flat Earthers came around. What about VHF beams also wrap around the curvature? I mean, we all thought that they didn't. But we now know that they do because Nikobine and Effie Core and J Boss, they have all shown us also now that microwave beams don't need actual line of sight, that they can also bend around the curvature. And that think of all these new applications of microwaves now that we know that they can wrap around solid objects and line of sight is no longer required. So again, Flat Earthers made an amazing discovery that everything just wraps around the curvature to present a false flat earth. Um, this was, uh, and here's that. Uh, magical you know the, the those uh what do you call it the, the, the microwave dishes that can communicate without actually having line of sight because of i mean great great technology that the flat earthers have, have shown that is possible um here's something else that flat earthers did we we now know that we have to change all the the navy manuals because uh before you know navy manuals never mentioned the fact that that you have to be wary about shooting the mirages because in this case that this boat's going to end up shooting the big bulge of water that's in between it and those ships um 
But now we know that because of flat earthers that we need to change that because those are actually mirages back there that we need to actually uh, change the Navy manuals to warn them about sh shooting at anything that could be hidden behind the curvature, even though it looks like it's not. I think that's an important uh, discovery. Um, you know, another discovery for flat earthers is that professionals, uh, for some reason, airplane, air, air, airline pilots, military professionals, radar operators, gunners, missile operators, engineers, commercial surveyors, and many more all, all state that there is no accounting for the curvature or the Earth's rotation in any manner. Again, I never knew that until the Flat Earthers came around. So thank heavens for Flat Earthers for giving us some new ideas about how the world actually operates because that's pretty amazing that no professionals actually have to account for the curvature. Um, you know, a, another fascinating one was the fact that uh, 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 the eight inches per mile squared, uh, that I never knew about that, uh, that the Earth actually dropped at eight inches per mile squared until the flat earthers come around. Another amazing discovery in the fact that airplanes can actually automatically adjust for that eight, in eight inches per mile squared without making any adjustments. Another amazing discovery from flat earthers. How about the fact that satellites are real? I mean, before flat earth, did any of you know about satellites? I mean, I never knew about these things, but thank heavens for, for flat earthers for showing us that that, that for, for for long time for whatever reason we never knew about these these uh these satellites that hang from balloons but I thank heavens for the flat earthers to come around and show us that that actually happens now what about the uh uh oh you know this is a big one the coriolis effect i mean think about how the the coriolis effect we always thought the coriolis applied to to everything but it turns out that the coriolis effect only applies to snipers and toilets um, but has no effect on east-west airplane flights, high-altitude balloons, or even shooting a bull up in the air. Felix Baumgartner took two and a half hours to get up to his altitude, and the, Felix, the Coriolis effect had zero impact on, on Felix Baumgartner. Amazing new new aspects of uh, the Coriolis effect that we ball earthers had no idea about. Thank heavens for the flat earthers to point that out. What about the inverse square law of light? That's another fascinating one. Is now we know the inverse square law of light doesn't apply to anything in space. So... Uh, the, wow! <laughs> Amazing discovery by the flat earthers. Um, this was a this was a big one. Um, who knew that flat? You know, the moonlight was cool until the flat earthers came around and showed us, hey, wait a second, moonlight is is actually cool light. I mean, what the hell is up with that? But again, the flat earthers discovered this that moonlight is cool. I mean, wow! You know, we could we could uh, base whole classes in in, in in our university based on why. Uh, made up reasons why uh, the moonlight is cold. Um, you know, I actually have about 30 more. Of <laughs> okay, well, Keep another going. amazing discovery from the flat earthers is the fact that no matter how much the earth changes in motion, um, some extraordinary force makes it so that we never feel anything or can measure or detect any sort of those changing in motions. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, that the angler that we're, we're just like the, the example from Dave Marsh, you know, pointed that out. We now know that for a fact that uh, that uh, the gravity somehow adjusts and keeps us all, you know, makes it all work out so that we don't actually feel or detect anything. Another amazing discovery for flat from the flat earthers. What about, you know, the big discovery from mechanical gyroscopes um, that flat earthers realize that they do retain rigidity in space except that they do automatically also adjust for the curvature and axial rotation we now know that flat earth you know flat earthers pointed that out and thank heavens for them because now we know that they automatically adjust for airplanes and stuff and so we don't have to worry about that anymore um you know oh you know is that the yeah, here is that oh here here was one for you know another flat earthers they discovered that you know some satellites hang from wires I mean, I think that's an important discovery from flat earthers because, you know, we need to know that that, that, that NASA has to use wires to hold up some of its satellites up in space. I mean, that's a huge discovery for flat earthers. I mean, I always thought the flat the satellites would just in, somehow magically stay up there, but they don't. They, they don't. They actually have to be held up by a wire. So now we know. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's just a video. Uh, I've got, I've got, I'm sorry, I don't have enough time to get all the, all the videos in line, but, uh, you know, like on the moon landings, we, you already showed that video, but uh, we, we now know that the moon includes a strange vertical wall that looks like a movie backdrop <laughs> and always has a horizon line that looks like an end of a stage. We now know that the moon has these backdrop looking features. So 
that's amazing. I mean, I, I think we have to admit that as Globe supporters, that they, the, the Flat Earthers figured that out. How about this one? How about the, you know, the Flat Earthers figured out that all flames are invisible in space? I mean, you know, I thought that at least that, that a, you know, the fire from from the from the ascent age, ascent uh, stages of the Apollo missions would actually leave some sort of light when they blasted off or some sort of flame. But <laughs> thank heavens, flat earthers corrected us. They don't need light or flames or anything. They just yeah. go up very just smooth. That video you made, Ben, do it. <laughs> talk about the flames it's so funny <laughs> at the end it's like yeah let's see if they're right they get the same fuel <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> with smoke <laughs> oh my god did you skip over the scuba diver in uh in this uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would have thought that you know the flat earthers figured out that uh That, that there's actually scuba, di scuba divers up in space. I mean, <laughs> we need a flat earth. There's to point that one out. So that yeah, has and the bubbles. Scuba and divers up there. Yeah. Bubbles, and, bubbles and, can and, change and, directions mm -hmm. in space. And, and Jaron, you've been wrong all this time. That they, they have the scuba divers up there in space. I mean, they, they practice with scuba divers up in the water because they actually have them up there in space helping the astronauts. It could be. Does, yeah, I haven't thought about that. The, the other thing, though, I noticed that you put out a video that reminded me that lemons are see-through. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, we could put our hand right through lemon, so that's good to know. I'm going to try that later today. <laughs> oh, it's shoot. also good to know, guys, that the thermosphere is not hot. I mean, Google will tell you it's 4,000 degrees, but it's not hot. I mean, metals can get through it no problem. So don't oh, that's that's a great Look, discovery of the flat you. earthers. Yeah, excellent discovery from the flat earthers. And the flat earthers discovered that we don't have a three-body mass equation. So all these predictions that the globe model <laughs> allegedly make are really just hijacked from the flat earthers. I think that's a great discovery that the flat earthers made. <laughs> so. Well, here, here's another big one. Unfortunately, I don't have the video up right now, but... Uh, <laughs> We, I mean, flat earthers figured out that rockets don't actually go straight up into the air to get into space. They actually arc and look like they fall back down. I mean, sure, the altimeters of those uh, rockets don't do that, show that effect. But flat earthers figured out that the way to get to space is to arc back down and fall back down towards the ocean. And that is the way to get back into space. Um, that was and amazing. Turn into CGI as well. Yeah, yeah, and another thing that the, the, that the flat earthers figured out was that the, the Challenger astronauts are all okay. I mean, I, I was I was very sad as a child when I watched all those those astronauts blow up. But the flat earthers figured out that they're still alive. We got we have to thank the flat earthers for figuring that one out. Um, how about the fact that good times for all, sky free, and life is uh, is it life is short? All discovered that objects disappear from the bottom up without any curvature. Thank you for all of those people that are doing that and proving that on a. I mean, we 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 ball earthers never knew about that until that. Uh, until they came around in those flat earthers. <laughs> hey, Ben, because of flat earthers, we learned that you can compress flat tables and see curvature. Um, so that was pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. Th uh, those Jaren's finding. Yeah, good stuff, Jaren. So that's a great one. And the flat earthers helped us realize that the uh, only time ever in the history of all observable phenomena that gas doesn't need a physical container is the atmosphere. Yeah, there's only one place you can find it, and that's our atmosphere. That is an amazing discovery of the Flat Earthers. I mean, how in the world gravity solves that? I think we need uh, about 10 courses at the university to figure that one out, because that's pretty amazing. Um, here's a, a historical one for the history department. Uh, for some reason, there were no globes since 1492, even though everyone supposedly knew it was a globe for thousands of years. I mean, that's a that's a fascinating little fact that the, that the Flat Earthers figured out. I mean, and they also figured out that Columbus was a piss-poor navigator because uh, he should have known that he was 9,000 miles short of the Indian Ocean when he called those uh, the people there in the Bahamas Indians. I mean... <laughs> If he knew that the Earth was already it had a circumference of twenty four thousand nine hundred one miles, he he was he was nine thousand miles away from the from from the uh, Indian Ocean. So we know that Columbus was a was an imbecile as well. So thanks thanks to the to the flat earthers. Um, <laughs> hey, hey Ben, I have a new one also. Uh, <laughs> Cap got Captain Axiom of the Iron Guild. Thanks for the super chat. Says flat earthers also discovered that giant mice can survive in the vacuum of space as long as they stay on top of the thruster rocker. <laughs> Shout out to Nate. <laughs> uh, so here's another one. Flat earthers discovered that the government is hiding something in Antarctica. I mean, we know yep. it's not to hide the flat the flat Earth, but we do know that they're at least not pre they're preventing people from traveling traveling independently below the 60th south parallel 
uh, for some reason, uh, and it make, must be cool. And, Go ahead. And make, and make poo-poo in Antarctica can cost you one million dollars. <laughs> and that was discovered by a flat earther. Not because a flat earther make poo-poo on Antarctica, but, you know, because he, you know, the flat earther like to research before test, you know. Oh, here, here's a, a, an amazing discovery by, by Jaron, that, that, that crazy flat earther. He discovered that Devon Island in Canada looks a lot like Mars. <laughs> that was a good one. You know, it's just amazing that NASA found a spot on Earth that looks just like Mars to practice driving around a small cart that looks just like the lunar rover. So we, we got to hand it to <laughs> we got to hand like, it to Jaron for figuring that one out. Cosmic coincidence. That that's a Nobel Prize. That's another Nobel Prize. <laughs> Uh, here's a, you know, okay, this will be my last one. The, the entire solar system and all comets, meteors, and everything else are tied together with gravity rubber bands that hold it all together as it rockets through space. And that's it's what enables all this tabular performance to keep repeating, even though everything's supposedly shooting at you know, millions of miles per hour. Thanks, he, thank heavens to these Einstein gravity rubber bands that keep it all together. And uh, so just another amazing discovery by flat earthers. And I just think we, you know, we as honest, good, true globe supporters need to recognize these amazing discoveries uh, from moving forward. But uh, there you go. That's my but little I, presentation. 